Hi, thanks for joining my presentation. From event-based to microservices using Kubernetes and Argo CD. My name is Ramesh, and I'm currently Director of Cloud and DevOps at Oak9. In the past, I've served as a Senior DevOps Engineer and an Application Engineering Manager. If you need to reach me, you can reach me at Twitter at rpatelok9 or by email at rpatel at oak9.io. Today, we'll talk about who Oak9 is, why we decided to go to microservices, the current state and the past state of our architecture, and then I'll also do a deployment of a microservice getting deployed to Kubernetes using GitOps principles. Oak9 is a SaaS-based product which facilitates cloud security from when you start writing code all the way to production. We integrate with many of the CI CD tools and we also have a CLI. Our framework and tools that we use in-house are comprised of the following. Angular Node for our front end, .NET Core for our API and Lambdas, Python for automation for our security blueprints, Go for our CLI binary, and majority of our infrastructure is in AWS. Why did we decide to go to microservices? The first main reason was our build time was getting to be way too high. This causes a slower velocity of deployments and a slow go to market in terms of product development features. Our API was also becoming a large monolith. It was hard to onboard new devs when you have a huge code base. That also leads to longer .NET build times and testing. We needed a loosely coupled architecture and we also needed teams to run independently. Here's the past state of our art architecture. It's a typical event-driven architecture in AWS. What we wanted to do was this monolith AWS Fargate cluster that we had running, we wanted to replace that with Kubernetes and use Argo CD to deploy microservices. So this is the current state of our architecture. Here, we have replaced Fargate with the EKS cluster, and then we use Argo CD and the tooling around Argo CD is customized for the overlays and gauntlet for the variable injections. We also leverage CI CD tools such as Jenkins and Argo CD. Majority of this is following the GitOps principles for deployment. So in the next slide, I'll do a small demo of a microservice getting, deploy getting deployed to Kubernetes. So as you can see here, I have a simple Nginx server, which is rendering Hello World. And what I'll do here is I'll change this index.html file to basically say hello world comp 42. And then that will in turn kick off a Jenkins pipeline, which will send a new image tag to Argo CD. So our Jenkins pipeline basically has two phases to it, or two stages to it. One is a build Docker image, which builds the necessary artifact. The other is run Argo CD. Argo CD binary will be called within the Jenkins pipeline to push a microservice to Kubernetes. So let's take a look at this pipeline. As you can see in Argo, here's a project that Jenkins will push to. In a matter of a few seconds, we should see the new image getting pushed here and then a sync happening to our Kubernetes cluster. So right here, now it's calling the Argo CD binary. And then you can see the sync happening automatically in Kubernetes. So within a matter of 30 seconds, we were able to tag an image, build an image, and push an image, to Kubernetes, and now this should say, hello world, comp 42. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope this, this presentation was useful. And if you have any questions, please email me at rpatel at oak9.io. Thanks, bye.